Welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a posterior subcapsular cataract. The patient is young, about 42 years old lady, and the nucleus is clear. Only there is posterior subcapsular opacity. So it's a clear lens, only posterior subcapsular opacity, and the people is not dilated much. Let us apply phenocaine and see what happens. This is phenocaine and within few seconds the people dilates well. So this is the magic of phenocaine which contains tropicamide, phenylephrine and lignocaine. The antechamber is filled up with visco and now capsulorexis is to be done. Before that, this is a side port on the left side of the main incision about 3 o'clock hours away. And now, capsulorexis. A uterator forceps is being used. The tip of the uterator pierces the center of the anterior capsule. A capsular tag is raised and this capsular tag is guided anticlockwise and as I make about 180 degree axis, the antechamber becomes shallow. So I come out, inject visco, deepen the anterior chamber and then use the uterator again and we have to be quick, we have to lift the anterior wall and quickly we have to do otherwise the antechamber will be shallow again. If the anterior chamber becomes shallow, then the chance of rexis running out to periphery is more. Hydrodissection is done and hydrodelineation also done in this case. In such cases, when the patient is young, nucleus is clear, only there is subcapsular opacity, phaco aspiration is the technique of choice. You cannot, uh, no other technique is efficient this is the most efficient technique. You just keep the bevel down and apply high vacuum. The whole thing comes out of the capsular bag, gets aspirated and you rotate the handpiece and make the bevel sideways or bevel off towards the end. And now nowadays I am doing this, I am removing most of the cortex by the handpiece itself. Please do this at your own uh, risk. It has the risk of catching the posterior capsule. But once you know how to do it, it is a very quick technique. We can see that there are some cells sticking to the posterior capsule. We must remove these cells. So I usually take the irrigation cannula of bimanual IA. Okay, before that this is enlargement of the main wound little bit because I am going to use a B cartridge. And now I take the irrigation cannula and by the irrigating jet of fluid I could polish the posterior capsule nicely. Whatever lens cells sticks to the posterior capsule gets dislodged. And now hydro implantation of a single piece enhanced monofocal intraocular lens. This is this is IHANS from Johnson and Johnson. The lens is nicely placed in the bag and I go behind the lens with the irrigation cannula and polish the posterior capsule. This is Moxie and the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma. And now a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done. This is very important to get rid of TAS. If we do a final lavage, if we leave clean BSS, 
at the end of the surgery the postoperative inflammation is much less form the anterior chamber nicely and then I take a cotton tipped Janssen bud check the integrity of the wound and I find there is no leakage and I conclude the case so we in such cases we should try phaco aspiration thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect empathy and great surgical competence